Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. How are you? It's great to see you and welcome back. Today's video is sponsored by GlassesUSA.com where you can find thousands of cute frames, both eyeglasses and sunglasses, name brand and in-house brand. So many different cute styles that you can find at affordable prices. And a complete pair of glasses, including a basic prescription lens, starts at $39. You can use the virtual try-on tool like I did to find a perfect pair of glasses that suits your face. And shopping at GlassesUSA.com is a risk-free experience if you're not happy with your glasses for any reason at all, you can return them within the first 14 days of receiving them. 100% money back guarantee, free shipping and free returns. So I chose a few pairs of glasses and let me know what you think. How about these ones? Always have to have a pair of sunnies and another pair of So glassesusa.com is offering an exclusive discount on top of any coupon codes they have on their website, and I'll put a link to that down below. Big thanks to glassesusa.com for sponsoring this video and for their continued support so I can make better videos for all of you. So perfect for the holiday season. Today, we're gonna to be opening a little package. Now inside this package are ice creams that can be made with water. I've made plenty of ice creams before, very interesting flavors, including mustard and wasabi, mayonnaise, ketchup, <laughs> but never have I made ice cream with water. And this package was very kindly sent to me by Hijinx. They're doing a collaboration with Gastro Obscura, whom I love very much. And I'm very curious to see what's inside this. And most importantly, I'm curious to see what ice cream tastes like made out of water. So. Let's see what's inside. There we go. Alrighty. So here are the instructions and this promises that you can make ice cream with water without a churner as well, which is great because many of us do not have ice cream makers or even have the kitchen space for an ice cream maker. But this uses a blender. Many of us do have blenders. So let's go ahead and make this. So here we have little recipe cards. And this looks like the ice cream mix. Very cute packaging. I have five of these bags, along with this curly cute stuff. And this box. So in here I have, okay. This looks like the flavorings. There's five bottles, so probably one for each of the flavor bags. And, oh, cute. I've got some paper pint cups for each flavor of ice cream with lids that correspond to each flavor. I've got a little ice cream cozy as well. So this is cool. Each one of these flavors comes with a little information card and very much in gastro obscura style, it gives you the little historical background about the flavor. Flavors include yuzu meringue, Persian falude, masala colada, moose milk. So I think the premise is pretty simple. We just take these packets, add water, and add the corresponding flavor. And I will tell you more about each flavor as we make it. Super simple. So this is the ice cream base and we're supposed to mix it with a warm liquid. And that can be water, it can be milk, it can be half and half. And because I'm interested in the difference between water and a dairy product, we're gonna try both. So let's make one with water first. First flavor we're gonna be making is called Blue Moon and it comes from the Midwest in the United States. Here's the information card. This ice cream flavor is a Midwestern mystery. Some swear it's almond extract while others taste citrus. Some claim it tastes like cereal, but others are torn between tricks, fruit loops, and fruity pebbles. So this is blue moon flavor, and I will do my best to describe to you what it tastes like. So this color right here is made with artificial coloring, but instead of that, we're going to be using this, which is included in the kit, and this is butterfly pea flower, and it has anthocyanins, I believe they're called, which are just naturally occurring pigments, which creates a natural blue, purple, or pink color, depending on the pH of what you add it to. So if you dissolve these anthocyanin pigments in water, you can change the color of it and the dish by adding 
acid or a base. So if you add acid, a little bit of lemon juice, it will turn pink. If you make it a little bit more basic, like baking soda, it will turn a beautiful kind of purplish blue color, actually blue or green. We're gonna add the flowers to the bottom of our cup here. And I'm gonna add some hot water to that. And we need one and a half cups. So this is boiling water. Wow, look, it's turning blue. So beautiful. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? So gorgeous. Look at that. Oof. Look at that. Beautiful. It smells a little bit like boiled potatoes. So now we're going to add. Mmm. This smells good. Inside the packet is a white powder. It smells like dried milk powder and sweetness. Dump that in there. And then I'm going to strain this blue coloring into here and then add a half a cup of additional water. So one and a half cups total. And then this vial of flavoring. This is our blue moon flavoring. Bloop. Now we're gonna blend this up. It says to blend it for two minutes. And then we have to let it rest at room temperature for half an hour then put it into our freezer safe cups and then freeze for four to six hours before we serve them. Okay, here we go, blendy blendy. All right, two minutes. Boop. So the next one we're gonna make is moose milk. Now this says greetings from Canada. On chilly nights during World War II, a potent elixir known as moose milk filled the stomachs and soothed the souls of Canadian soldiers. This rich batch cocktail usually appeared in quantities designed to sate a small army, leaving drinkers full, warm, and quite tipsy. So for this flavor, instead of using water, let's substitute warm half and half. I think this will definitely taste more ice creamy. Oops, in goes a package of the high drinks mix along with one and a half cups of liquid. It smells delicious. Add that in there. Blend this one up for two minutes as well. Okay, here we go. Next, let's head to Turkey we're going to be making masala colada. For almost 80 years, the Turks Inn transported diners from Hayward, Wisconsin to a vibrant Ottoman palace replete with decadent meals, ice cream cocktails, and fancy decor. This too, we're going to be making with warm half and half. In that goes, in goes powder, and then in goes the masala colada flavoring. Ooh, this one smells like coconut. Hmm. ooh. But it doesn't smell that coconutty now. Oh, this one's gonna be interesting. This next flavor is inspired by Iran, and it's called the Persian Fulude. Back in 400 BC, people living in the Persian Empire cooled off with an ancient version of the snow cone, grape juice poured over snow gathered from the mountain peaks. The next evolution in icy sweet concepts was falude, a sorbet made of cooked vermicelli noodles frozen in rose water syrup finished with a squeeze of lime juice. So one package of stuff, and this time we're going to be using one and a half cups of just milk. Right into there. And the Persian falude syrup. This one is green in color. Ooh, it smells like rose, okay. Interesting how I don't associate this color with rose at all. In that goes, and two minutes. And the inspiration for the last flavor is from Japan, and this one's called Yuzu Meringue. So floral and heaty, the scent of yuzu is so intoxicating that it not only stars in sweet and savory foods, but also in perfumes and bathing oils in Japan. Native to China and grown in Japan and Korea, this golden fruit can be hard to come by in the United States. A pint of yuzu meringue should make that harsh reality a little bit easier to bear. So this isn't a traditional flavor, but the flavor inspiration comes from Japan. And this one, we're going to use one and a half cups of warm water, right into there. Boop. And now we're going to add our extract. Ooh, this one smells lovely. Definitely citrusy and some sweetness. Okay. 
in that goes. So after these have all been blended up, we're gonna let them rest for half an hour before I decant them into their pint containers, and then we'll freeze them for four to six hours until they're nice and firm, and then we'll give all these flavors a taste. See you in a little bit. <laughs> It has been a full 24 hours since I made my water ice creams. I put them in the refrigerator and they are solid. The directions also instruct to let the ice cream sit out for about five minutes before attempting to scoop them. And I imagine that's because they're gonna be really rock hard and solid because they are made with water. Actually, a couple of these are made with dairy, but we're gonna, okay, taste test. Here they are, they look quite professional, don't they? The packaging helps for that. And let's taste them in the order that we made them. So the first one we're gonna taste is the Blue Moon. And reveal, it indeed has a blue color. Not nearly as vivid as what is pictured in the original, but that definitely has some artificial food coloring. And this was dyed with plant dyes. How do you describe that smell? It smells kind of fruity, kind of like candy. Like when you open a bag of Skittles, that kind of combination of fruity scents. Let's give it a scoop and see how scoopable it is. Okay, not too shabby. Sitting out of the fridge definitely helped with the scoopability. Look at that. Let's get a picture of that. That looks pretty good. Scoop a bit. It does feel icy. Definitely. This one was made with water. Here we go. Itadakimasu. Mmm. So the first thing I noticed, it definitely has an icy texture to it. You can feel kind of the ice crystals kind of slightly crunch in your mouth. The flavor of the Blue Moon itself is pretty complex. Fruity yet sweet. Tastes a little bit like when you have a creamsicle. It has that kind of creamy milk flavor to it with fruit, a combination of fruit. Nothing that's particularly distinctive. I wouldn't say lemony at all or citrusy, just general fruit scent. I wouldn't say that I like it, but I wouldn't say I dislike it either. It doesn't feel like ice cream though, in terms of texture. Next, let's try moose milk. This was moose milk and I made this one with half and half. There it is, it's got kind of a cream color cast to it. Okay, here we go. All right, let's get a bite of this. This definitely has a harder consistency than the Blue Moon made with water. Alrighty, here we go with Tadakimasu. Mmm, this one has a much creamier mouthfeel. And there's a little tiny, tiny bit of iciness to it. Mm hmm I don't know about you, but I like to bite my ice cream. <laughs> When I have an ice cream comb, I love to sink my teeth into it and bite it. And I can feel a bit of iciness. The crystals are not nearly as big as the Blue Moon, but definitely present. In terms of flavor, this to me tastes like hazelnut coffee. You know, that hazelnutty flavor they add to coffee beans or coffee. I myself am not a particular fan of flavored coffees, but in this context, I think it works. But similarly to the Blue Moon, this one tastes a bit perfumey to me, similar to a scented candle, a kind of perfumey, artificial flavor. Alrighty, moose milk, but definitely prefer the half and half texture to the water. Next, we're gonna try the Persian Faluda, and this was made with milk. Here's the Persian Faluda, and there it is, kind of got a yellow, slightly green cast to it. This one was made with whole milk. Cute little ball of ice cream. This one too feels a little icy. Here we go. Wow, this one is super perfumey. It immediately tastes of rose, overpoweringly so. Like, <clears throat> this one's definitely kind of a hybrid of the last two in terms of iciness. It's more icy than the half and half, but not as icy as a Blue Moon that was made with water. So far, I like the half and half texture best. In terms of flavor, this one is really, really strong and overpowering for me. If you like floral scents though, I think you might be a big fan of this one. Persian Faluda. 
Next, we're going to try the masala colada. Here is the masala colada. This one was made with half and half, and this has a kind of light cream color to it. And let's scoop that. Okay, so this one has sat out a little bit longer, so it is easier to scoop. The other, oh my gosh. <laughs> The other version I made with half and half was very, very firm, but now that this has sat out a little bit longer, it is much easier to scoop. And this right there. Cute. Okay, here we go. Itadakimasu. Mm, wow. Mmm. Mmm. Again, the flavor is very, very intense and perfumey. This time, I immediately get coconut. It's like a Malibu rum coconutiness with some pineapple and then a little bit of that garam masala spice at the end. A little bit of cumin in there. Mm. I'm not a fan of this one, but I'm not a big fan of Malibu rum, coconutty, suntan lotion flavors either. Alrighty. Finally, we have the yuzu meringue and this one was made with water and I'm curious to see what this one tastes like. Here's yuzu meringue. This one's very pale in color, not quite white, more of like an off-white. And let's see how this one is. It's a little bit icy in consistency, but still, looks like ice cream. Alrighty, let's give it a taste. It's Itadakimasu. Somehow I was expecting it to taste lemony, but it doesn't really taste lemony. It is kind of citrusy, definitely dairy but I think this one's a little bit more successful in terms of not being overpowering in terms of its artificial flavor. Definitely still flavored, but not as heavy handed as some of the others. In terms of flavor, it's kind of like a creamsicle again, but this time instead of orange, it's a different kind of citrus. <laughs> hmm. All right, my lovelies, there you have it. That's how you can make ice cream with water using, of course, these hijinks mix. It actually is pretty novel, very, very simple and easy to make. I think this would be fun to do as a group. It'd be fun to do a little taste test and share and get different opinions on flavors and mixtures. I think it would also be really fun to make your own custom flavors. Use the ice cream base and add chopped up strawberries or cocoa powder or whatever you'd like to make your own custom flavors, I think that would be really fun. Thanks so much for watching and big thanks to glassesusa.com for sponsoring this video. If you'd like to receive a special offer that's exclusive to the coupon codes on the Glasses USA website, please click the link down below. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoy that one. I hope you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media, like this video, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo, take care, bye. Alrighty, now I have five pints of ice cream that I need to find a good purpose for. Hmm. Ice cream party, I think, is in order.